Welcome back to the Apex Gun Parts YouTube channel. Today I'm playing around in the yard as a assistant HK21 gunner, and I thought we would take the time to take a look at the Model 1101 HK21 tripod. So let's walk through how to use the HK21 tripod. As you can see, I've got it in stow mode on my back and we can unfold it and show you how to deploy it and all the features it comes with. This is the model 1101 tripod, which means it was designed for the earlier HK21. On the legs here, we can see we've got these fold out points and these levers are used to fold out the legs and get it into deployed position. As we can see here, I can pull out on this and it'll clip into place and then I can simply push down and unfold this front leg. On the tripod itself, we actually have these nice markers that indicate when it's in folded or deployed position. And you can use these markers as reference when unfolding the legs. Once we're done here, there's a black clip on the side of this lever here. We can push it and it'll fold the lever back into closed position. Now that we've unfolded the front leg, we've got the low profile deployed position. Later on, we'll show you how to unfold these extra legs into a high profile deployed position. If you're firing from a trench or perhaps want to stand up a little bit better. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to deploy the gun mount itself. On the left side here, we've got this bar that we can flip up. This is for your lateral firing position. Once we flip up this, we can fold this back gun mount into position. The next thing we'll do is there's a clip here in the middle of the gun mount. We can unclip that, lift up the main body of the gun mount and push it into position. You can see that there is a retained pin here on the rear part of the gun mount. We can push this out and it should clip into place with this little locking spring. We'll push it back down into this mounting bar right here and then push this pin back into place. It'll clip into place and I can see the rear of the gun mount is locked into position on the bar. There are two mounting points on the HK21 tripod for the HK21 or HK21 Echo. On the front here, we've got this little locking bar where the front of the gun goes back, goes into. And then on the back here, we've got these Frankenstein mounts where the back of the gun mounts into. On the left side of the gun here, we can see we have a dovetail for mounting a Stanag scope mount. We have MG3 Stanag scope mounts used for night vision by the German military. This specific tripod is a Portuguese issue tripod, but the Stanag mount is used to mount night vision onto the HK21 system. We've got one of these Stanag mounts here, and we're just gonna go ahead and slide this into the dovetail mount, and then we can lock it into place. And then if you were to have night vision, you can mount it on here. They also make adapters, so you can adapt, you know, just a standard pick rail or whatever you want on here to mount optics onto the tripod. Next, before I show you all the features of the firing mode on the HK21 tripod, we're gonna deploy it into high profile mode. The same way that we deployed the front leg, we'll use to deploy the rear legs. We've got these locking levers here. We'll push them out and this button will pop up showing that it is locked into place and then we can push these down to actuate the legs. We'll do the same for both sides and I'll get the gun mount deployed into the high profile position. Now on these locking teeth, you'll notice that there are measurement markers, so you can accurately get this gun mount deployed into a level fighting position. On the front left of the gun mount here, we can see there is a bubble sight. So if you were entrenching and you wanted to get all of your degrees dialed in correctly, you can actually line up this bubble sight to make sure the gun mount is on a flat level surface. Now, if you wanted to deploy the gun mount even higher for some reason, you can ignore these reference markings and lock the legs up into an even higher position, which I'll show you now. All 
All right, now you can see I've got the HK21 tripod deployed into a high profile fighting position. Now we can go through some of the features. If you wanna have this high profile position so you can be a little bit higher up, that's an option. Like I mentioned earlier, these locking legs can also be used in the low profile mode if you need to dig in a little bit more, if you wanna throw sandbags or dirt or whatever in order to make sure that this tripod is in a secure position when firing, that's an option for you as well. Let's talk about some of the features on the HK21 tripod. On the front end here, where the front of the gun mounts in, this is actually a soft mount, so there is a heavy duty spring in there. So when firing the weapon system, it'll actually recoil and absorb some of that shock for short bursts. On the back of the gun here, we have this button which can be tightened and released and pushed in in case we wanna make large up and down movements to adjust our gun mount. On the back here, we also have this button which can be pulled out and we can move it up and down to make small search fire adjustments in case you wanna fire on a certain specific area. You can move this up and down while the gun is firing and shoot up and down in a specific area. There is measurement markers on this back bar here in case you wanna set it to a certain degrees and keep track of your adjustments. If you wanna make small precise adjustments as well, we have this radial piece here and you can move this up and down to make exact adjustments so you can coordinate your fire in a very specific position and have exact adjustments. On this whole mechanism here, we also have this throw lever which can be pushed up and then you can move the gun left and right in case you want to set search fire or simply adjust it to a certain position. In addition to, if you were to move these other throw levers in and lock them down and pull this button out, what we can do then is we can do a very precise adjust fire position and have a very set specific square you're firing into and you can fire throughout that square within exact adjustments, which is a pretty cool little piece of technology here. It makes it very nice. You can either set a very specific firing position or you can kind of set up a grid that you want to be able to fire into and just do some sort of search fire pattern. When the tripod is set up into place, you also want to make sure you push these buttons in and lock the levers into position. The levers can break off if you're not careful. So that's just one thing to be note of. You wanna make sure they're in the stow position. When you wanna return the gun mount into transport mode, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the throw levers are moved all the way out into their farthest most positions. This back mount, you wanna make sure we move over to the left hand side and lock down this throw lever into place. We'll then remove this locking pin. Once this pin is out, we can move the main body of the gun mount back into the lock position and that clip will lock this into position. Then what we'll do is we'll lower this and move it over into its stowed position with this main throw mount here. We'll push it over to the left. And once it fits into this little channel here, we'll make sure everything's locked up. And then we will push down this throw lever and make sure this back mount is not moving freely. Next thing we'll do is we'll fold up the legs. Same order of operation as earlier. We'll bring these levers out, lock them into position, and then we'll fold up the legs. Once the gun mount is moved back into transport mode, you can simply throw it back on your back and move to your next fighting position. We hope you found this video helpful. Let us know down in the comments if you have any more questions about the HK21 tripod. And be sure to check out our website, apexgunparts.com, for all your G3, HK21, and roller delay blowback firearm needs.